VPN IPSEC client. I go to Wizards, VPN Wizard, and I want IPSEC Ike Remote Access VPN Wizard. It's going to terminate on the outside, and I want it to bypass ACL. So I'm going to be using the Cisco VPN client. Appreciate key, I'm going to use 123456, and my tunnel group name is going to be remote-vpn, which is case sensitive, and these are the two bits of information that I'm going to type into my uh, client at the end. I'm going to authenticate using the local user database, so I'm going to store my username and passwords actually in the ASA. Um, you may want to use Radius or Kerberos or authenticate against Active Directory by setting up a AAA server. But for the sake of the video and simplicity, I'm just going to create a test user. I'm now going to set up an IP pool, which is essentially a DHCP scope for your remote clients. I'll give it a starting IP address that is not on the network that is behind the ASA. So this is a completely separate range. Behind the ASA is 192.168.1.0. So this is completely different. It's a common error to make it overlap with your internal network and then wonder why it doesn't work. I'm going to set up the DNS servers that are going to get leased to my clients when they connect. My primary DNS server on the main site is 192.168.1.12 copy that and my secondary is .13 don't have any win servers but my default domain name that I want leasing to my clients when they connect is pnetlife.com next leave on its defaults now there's a bit of a confusing screen I want split tunneling for my clients I want them to be able to browse the internet while they're connected I'm going to use Diffie Allen Group 2 now up here it says leave this blank if you want to expose the entire network behind the asset which is fine but because I've got split tunneling on, you need to put something in that box. If I simply leave this box empty and click next, it'll error. So I'm going to put in the network that is directly behind this ASA. Next, finish. Send. That's done. Now, if I jump onto a remote machine, remember I need to be outside the asset to test this. I've got my Cisco VPN client installed and I'm going to set up a new VPN connection entry. Give it a sensible name. In this case, I'm just going to call it Remote Connection to Work. Under Host, give it the IP address of the public name of the ASA and in group authentication remember ours is remote-vpn and it is case sensitive the shared secret is 123456 put that in a second time and that will create our connection entity to actually fire it up you can click connect above or just right click it and select connect and it'll ask us for a username and password. Remember ours was called test user and with a password simply of password and just to make sure we are connected let's ping something that is beyond the ASA on 192.168.1 just to make sure this isn't all smoke and mirrors if I launch ipconfig and look at my IP addresses you'll notice that the one that I've been leased there is an IP address within the scope or the pool that we created on the firewall that's us connected remotely using our Cisco VPN client thanks very much for watching and don't forget to visit us www.peanutlife.com